Okay, we're with Scott Juniper, the UC Irvine head coach of the women's soccer team. Scott, you've had two games now to watch your team in live action, 2-0 and against really good Texas teams. What have you seen and what do you like about your team thus far? Well, it's really exciting. We've got uh, you know a lot of freshmen in those games. I think the freshmen have really really stepped up. They look like Division One players already, so that's really exciting and it shows that we've got uh, we've got the kind of depth that we can use enough players to get through really tough conditions like we, like we saw in Texas. 107 degree heat out there against the number 11 team in front of a very, very passionate and spirited uh, home crowd and we were able to get it done. So I think the depth, first of all, stands out. You know, we've got a lot of, a lot of strong players um, in every position. Um, going back to last year where you had you know, the most historic season for UC Irvine women's soccer. How has that success affected your program now and how is it still affecting your team? Yeah, it's really, it's really every aspect. I mean, they, uh, it's given them a lot of confidence that they can go up against any of these uh, ranked teams uh, and compete uh, to win the game. Uh, you know, we've, we've come up against, uh, you know, we, we beat the ACC champions this last weekend. We beat the, the Big 12 champions. So uh, when you're able to do that at home and on the road, um, you know, and you, you, you prove that over and over again. Uh, it breeds a confidence in the team, and uh, you know the confidence in the team right now really is uh, to the point where they believe they can be anybody. Talk about preparing for the 2011 season and knowing what holes you have have to fill. How you go about doing that, and who's kind of stood out, and kind of played that spot so far. Yeah, there's a lot of talk about us losing four starters. Uh, so first of all. We lost Danielle de Serrier, who signed a pro contract in, in Holland. Uh, he's already doing very, very well there. So that's a big piece that we had to, that we had to fill. Uh, we've got a freshman coming in this year, uh, Jen Randazzo, who has uh, who's worked her tail off. And she started both games this weekend in Texas. Uh, made some very, very good saves. Looks very, very mature on the ball. Um, and she's, she's, uh, um, she's looking good in that spot right now. You know, we've got Kayla Gabler, who's a returning senior. Um, who's going to push her all the way for, for, for playing time through the season. Uh, Elisa Humphrey and Nikki Forrest graduated, so both outside backs. Uh, we've seen Jordan Bruce come back from injury to, to, to play on, on one side. Uh, and Amanda Hardeman, who's a transfer from Santiago Canyon College, who uh, stepped in and started for us this year um, in the first two games and does, has done exceptionally well. Uh, she's worked really hard to get to where she's at. Uh, and then Tanya Taylor, who, uh, who had a great year this year, or a great summer with the WPSL uh, program, the OC, the OC Waves, uh, who won the national championship and uh, as the MVP in the final, she scored the winning goal. And I still look at the bench, still look down at the bench and to, just to see where she is so I can tell her to warm up and go in the game. But um, Lexi Koff has stepped, stepped up in a huge way. Uh, she gets to lead the line this year rather than play off of Tanya. So uh, she's really stepped it up and has got, got two game-winning goals in our first two games. So she's exceptionally athletic and we're going to get more out of her. Um, and then Natalia uh, Ledesma, who transferred from UCLA, um, is starting for us as a forward. Uh, she played as an outside back for UCLA, but for us she's going to be a forward. Um, and uh, she plays with such, uh, such inventiveness and uh, with, off of her instincts. Um, uh, she doesn't need a lot of coaching. She's, very, she's a very smart player. Um, and really we just, want to, we just want her play with as much freedom as possible and she's going to help to release a lot of other players. Um, outside of those two, we've got Alexis Rafael, returning senior, uh, who's, going to, who's going to see a lot of time as well, and a number of freshmen that are going to push for time. Scott, talk about this year's schedule. It's one of the hardest ones that we've seen definitely in your tenure and how much concern you had when you, knowing you were losing those four you know, top players from your program. Yeah, I think it's always a concern who you're losing, but the key for us is that we were returning seven starters. Um, and when we were recruiting, we were recruiting two, three years out. Uh, we knew we were bringing in strong players and uh, players were graduating through the program and, and were ready to take it on. Um, and for us to continue to be, uh, you know, for us to consider ourselves one of the, one of the better teams around, we've got, to, we've got to play those teams to prove ourselves. Um, you know, there aren't many teams that would have uh, jumped at the chance to, to go out of College Station in, in the middle of uh, August to play that game. Um, but we wanted to be bold and we wanted to take those games on. And I think that's, that's rewarded us this weekend and, and, and the players have been rewarded for that. Um, and coming up we've got, we, we play Stanford, Portland, uh, Santa Clara and USD who are another four teams in the, ranked in the top 25. So uh, it's only, it can only be a positive. You know, we're not, we're not looking to just rack up win after win after win. Um, for the sake of it, we want, we want to get wins against the very, very best teams in the country, and that's what we're, that's what we're looking to do. And I think uh, um, that 
that helps in every way, including recruiting. You know, players that, that, that want to come and play here, they want to play against the best teams, and we want to give them the opportunity to do that. Now, the uh, Anteaters were picked to finish first in the Big West. How did that change your approach to this team or in, in your coaching style? Did, did it affect it at all? Did you have to have a conversation about that? Yeah, absolutely. The expectations are different this year. We Every other year we've been able to um, motivate the players because people have underestimated us. Um, and now, being picked to finish first, uh, we don't have that. We don't have that motivation. So, so we've got to kick on and really look at different ways to motivate our team and, and have them look, in, look inside themselves and, and how good they want to be um, and compete against themselves. You know, to be that number one team in the conference again. Um, but the conference is getting better. There's there's competition everywhere. Every game is going to be a tough game. Uh, we've got to we've got to take every game seriously. And, uh, uh, but it's nice. It's nice to be uh, to be regarded as as a team that, that that is out there in front.